If, like me, you create videos using your smartphone, then you've probably dealt with this issue right here. Yes, shaky video footage. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a potential solution, which is a portable tripod for your smartphone. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music, or in this case, your best music videos, because if you're into music creation, then chances are, at some stage, you also want to record some video, and that's where something like this, a portable tripod with a smartphone adapter, can come in handy. Now, this is the Vivitar 7.5 inch compact tripod, which I haven't tried out before, but I'm about to try out. I've had previous sorts of these in the past, and what I'll do is I'll link in the description to where you can pick up this or something like it because there's a lot of different models that range anywhere from $10 which is this one right up to hundreds of dollars so there's plenty of options out there but what I thought I would do is unbox this on the go and show you the benefits of using a tripod like this. So here is our Vivitar 7.5 inch compact tripod. You can see we have the tripod part at the top here with a standard screw mount on there and we have our smartphone adapter. So let's cut into this and take a look at this tripod. So first impressions out of the box or out of the horrible plastic packaging is that this actually feels quite good. It's relatively weighty. It's got this sort of soft brushed plastic sort of feel to it, but the plastic itself is not flimsy. It's actually really sort of secure and stable feeling. We'll find out when we put it to the test. We've also got our little adapter here, which slides out with a spring. Hopefully that spring will last, but again, it's a $10 item. So uh, we'll see how we go with it. That's so that we can extend the width for our larger phone, which is good because I have the iPhone Plus. And then we've just got a manual here, which is stapled to the actual uh, packaging there, which is an interesting design choice there. So there it is. Uh, we will set this up and take a closer look. Okay, so here is the tripod in all of its glory. So you can see here, it's got three really stable legs there. I really like that. We can tilt those to get a different sort of tilt there. We'll just move that back a bit. So you can create different angles if you need to. And it's still quite secure because of these rubberized feet that it has, which actually do a really good job. So we have the ball mount here. So you've got your standard, uh, your standard thread mount there for a digital camera or an SLR or a video camera or whatever you like. And then the actual securing mechanism is just this single twist here. So we can move this ball around 360 degrees, including all the way over to here so that we could actually have it mounted at 90 degrees there. And then we want to tighten, we just twist that clockwise and it tightens up really nicely there. So that is really good. First impressions is that this is a really nice, for a $10 tripod, this one seems to be a pretty good deal. And here we have the smartphone mount. You can see again there, it's got that spring-loaded mechanism. It's pretty solidly made. It's a solid piece of plastic here. It doesn't feel really flimsy in the hand. And it has a little mirror on the back here, which I'm assuming is for when you're using the rear-facing camera, you can still sort of see vaguely what you're going to have in shot there, which is a nice little bonus feature. Let's now add this. We just need to screw it on to the top here. It screws on the mount and there we go. And it's actually, again, we can just twist that, adjust it to the right angle, tighten it up, and that feels really secure. And then we can just extend it to add our phone in here. So let's do that now and we'll test this out recording with the phone that we have right here. And here we go, I've just turned it around. I'm using my front facing camera and it is really secure here. Like I can even tap the legs there and you're gonna get a little bit of bump there. But even if I touch the phone there, it, it is really secure. I've had these before where they're not super secure. So you need to shop around and make sure you get something with some really stable legs with a really secure screw that is gonna tighten up. So this one, again, for $10, I'm pretty impressed. And you can see here that the difference between this and me holding the phone before the shaking that we got there. This is going to be a lot better if you're recording yourself playing guitar, if you're recording any sort of video wherever you are, take this little sucker with you and you're going to get much more stable and professional looking video. And the other benefit with something like this is even if you do want to get an action shot or you do want to be moving around in your shot, by holding onto this as a handle for your phone instead of holding it like that, you get a much smoother and you can do pans around like that and get a much smoother, less jerky and less annoying video image. So if you are recording something where you are moving around and you are on the go, then you can get a much better shot. 
Okay, I've flipped the phone around. I'm now using the rear-facing camera on the phone and using our little mirror here to try and center the image on my face. So this is good because if you're using the rear-facing camera, it's usually better quality. So we'll see if this actually aligns my face and gets my shot right in the center there. So there you go. Now this one has been a bit of a double review because one is for having some sort of mobile tripod and the other is for this one, the Vivitar 7.5 inch compact tripod, which I am pretty darn impressed with. Now where can you pick these up? Here in Australia, they're available at Officeworks stores and at officeworks.com.au. I'll drop a link in the description and I'll find some links to this and other similar tripods that you can pick up in other parts of the world too. Thanks again for watching. What are your tips? Do you have any gear that you like to use to create videos? let me know that in the comments as well and i'll see you on the next video hey thanks for sticking around we've got a heap more videos all about audio and video gear here on the channel which you can check out in the links down below you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the studio live today link in the top right corner and head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness